<laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. The Varmint Rifle was nerfed over two months ago in the February 26th update to Red Dead Online and today we are going to be finally using it again to see if it still holds up with the current Red Dead Online meta and if you should still buy the weapon in Red Dead Online to use it in both PvE and PvP settings. Hey what is going on everybody my name is Zach and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for 41,500 subscribers on the channel and we are well on our way to 42,000 subscribers so thank you very much I really appreciate all the support you guys have given me and we are growing so fast and I owe it all to you guys if you use the varmint rifle pre-patch and pre-nerf in Red Dead Online make sure to let me know down in the comments and drop a like on this video since we are finally showing the varmint rifle some more love in the world of Red Dead in my last video I asked everyone what your current level was in Red Dead Online currently I'm level 154 and I play on the PlayStation 4 and I would love to hear what level you are and the console you play Red Dead on, either PlayStation 4 or Xbox One. Thank you once again for 41,500 subscribers. If you haven't already, press that subscribe button down below and join the Hazard Gang and press that notification bell to join the Notification Squad. If you already have my notifications turned on, make sure you put hashtag Notification Squad in the comments and a quick but major shout out to all the members on the channel. You guys are outstanding. This week in Red Dead Online, if you haven't played at all, we have a 25% discount on all rare weapons at the fence like the tomahawk and the machete and all rank requirements on weapon inventory have been lifted this week and we also have a 25 percent discount on all saddles and horse care items over at the stables so make sure you buy the best items you can as this 25 percent discount lasts until tuesday so you only have a couple of days left but with that out of the way let's jump into using the varmint rifle in red dead online Alrighty, folks two months later let's see how this varmint rifle compares to how it was pre-patch this thing, honestly, I think it still can hold up, although I really cannot confirm officially until I play this round because I truly haven't used it that much. I just did a warm-up game, and I like it a lot. I think I think it still holds up really well. Of course, if you're rocking paint it black, you're gonna you're gonna rock this thing more than using any other ability card for sure. So if you're gonna use this weapon, run paint it black. Don't run anything else. I mean you can run slow and steady, but uh dude. Paint it black is a headshot machine, so just do that. No bloom. I mean, I don't know why you'd, why you'd opt for having bloom with a gun, but especially now after patch. Maybe Rockstar will change that. Let's just start wrecking some kids. Oh, this guy's a little bit far away. We got shot from in the front and from behind. And I think, honestly, I may stay around there this match. That may be a good spot. And I spawned on the same street, so that's pretty nice. I just want to make sure no one's around me. I think we may head back down here. Ooh, hold on. Got that sucker right here. It's all one-pointers. I want to go for the most wanted guy, so I'm actually not going to hang around. I need to be careful. I need to be careful. Okay, that was a bad idea trying to hop that ledge, lady. Not smart at all. Did this player die? Nope. Level 20 or 24 point. Yo, turn this. Oh! There we go. Nice. All right, we're on the board. We're in first place, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do this. Can we go for the 11 pointer? Sometimes you're gonna see me. Oh, this guy's far range. <laughs> um, you're gonna see me pull out the shotgun sometimes because although I am trying to track how good the, the uh, varmint rifle is, I'm also trying to have a good game overall. And so it doesn't make sense for me to use the varmint rifle up close when I should be using the shotgun, right? So. See, like, without. If you didn't have uh, painted black, you probably. See, like, oh, we're out of ammo anyway. Swap. <laughs> That's a good example of when to swap weapons when you're out of ammo, precisely. Let's reload this thing. It does take a decent of it to reload, but Rockstar didn't change the reload time on it. I just haven't used this thing. I mean, I've used it hunting, but, you know. Oh, beautiful. 28-pointer here. Let's see what he's up to. Is he going to turn the corner? We can still drop a headshot on. Okay. She's rocking slow and steady. I don't know what gun she was using though. I didn't I didn't even bother to check. There's like a lot of dust in my room because I dude, I'm getting stuff in my eye recently. Anyways, can we get you? What are, what are you up to? There we go. This guy's a little bit too far range. Yeah, too far for the varmint. Oh. Okay, wait a second. 
Where, where are you going? Okay. And you. Jeez. There's a lot of people here. We got to get inside to cover before we get shot by that 30-pointer out there. We're not in the lead anymore. This guy took our lead. This guy's right here. Uh-oh. Aim your... Pull, it, pull the hammer back. There we go. Oh, Jesus. Dude, there's so many people on this street. I'm trying to not use the double barrel, but people are getting way too close for me. Way too close for comfort. I'm dead. Yo! My guy didn't dive! Oh my god, he jumped! Oh no! I must have let go of the trigger too quick. That's a rip. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's move up on this guy. T level 22. It's gonna be the same issue. Yeah, what? I don't even know what I'm thinking. I gotta switch to my knife real quick when I get back up. Either that or I'm gonna get shot by this. Level oh, come on! Come on! Oh! No! No! No, I'm dead! Ah! 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 Knock him out! Ah! No! <laughs> Dude! My guy put his knife away! What was it when I got hit? He must have dropped the knife in combat. No! We couldn't do it. Wow, this guy's gapping the lead with us. Let's move up. I hate spawning in this courtyard. You gotta run. You waste so much time trying to run back out into the street. Like either you spawn so close to someone or you spawn completely away and it's like what you know rockstar find a happy medium here friend what what the heck what i've noticed too is the lock on range like the amount you can actually aim away from a player like i'm using wide aim settings right now so i should be able to lock onto a player as long as they're like pretty much as long as i'm pretty much looking at them with my screen right and on this weapon, it seems like the lock-on parameters are a lot, a lot tinier than any other weapon. That is the one thing I've noticed uh, post-patch that is probably the downside of this weapon, is you do need to already be close to aiming at a player in order for this weapon to... Is that, oh, oh, I'm dead. Where did that 17 show up? He, he showed up right behind me. I didn't see him on the map. I was looking, and then when I saw the 27-pointer show up, that guy appeared, and I was in combat. I couldn't come back from that. Oh, hello. Alright. Pull out the pull out the double barrel. Look at this. I'm dead, dude. That was straight up through the pillar. <laughs> that was straight up through the pillar, my dude. If you can spawn me back into the game anytime, Rockstar, that would be much appreciated. Thank you very much. Let's keep moving on here. We're gapped by a hundred points. We're not gonna win this match. We could if I get all the most wanted player kills right now, but. That's a long shot for that to happen, especially when the guy I was running to who had 30 points on his head just died. I don't know where he's going to spawn now. He's not even on the map anymore. Oh, he's all the way over there. I think we lost this game, folks. We lost the game, but you know what? We may have lost the battle, but we haven't lost the war, okay? We have not lost the war because your boy is coming back with a vengeance next video. What is this guy doing? Oh, yeah, of course you're going to have your... Your dual pistols. You must have saw my Mauser video, baby. I'm gonna surprise this guy. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at these nice little kills right at the end. Very nice. I gotta be honest. The guy who just won this game did really well. 281 to 376. Wow. That guy got some points at the end of the game. Because I was at 180 and he was at 280. So I caught up to his points at that time, and then he just started gapping me even more. 24 and 8, not a bad score. So, post-patch, this weapon's pretty good. I think it's very good. Of course, Paint It Black makes it the best possible. You know, like, if you use Paint It Black with any gun, it's going to increase your skill using that weapon by tenfold. And make it much more easier to get kills. But I have noticed that the, the visible difference with the varmint rifle because bloom isn't an issue with paint it black the bloom isn't too bad like they didn't nerf the bloom or they didn't nerf the varmint rifle so much with the bloom that made it an issue because before it would, the circle would close in really fast um and also it was small to begin with so you could lock onto people and headshot them really quick without needing to go into dead eye but the thing i've noticed is that now despite using dead eye or not the lock on range that you have you need to be pretty much aiming at the player anyway for you to auto lock on them using wide aim settings i'm assuming narrow aim settings or default is the same thing i'm using wide and you guys saw a couple times there i would aim and i wasn't locking onto the player 
and I think that is because of the fact that the varmint rifle uh, like lock-on parameters were nerfed as well. They heavily, or I, I guess they should say, they buffed the parameters. I don't know. They nerfed it, meaning the fact that you do have to be more accurate when you're aiming anyway to get the lock on, or they buffed it in the fact that they made the range of you locking on. Well, actually, they made it less. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think about the Varmint Rifle down in the comments below. Also, drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and I will see you guys in the next Red Dead Online video. Adios, amigos.